Now, someone asked me, despite the fact that no one's ever seen me play video games, people ask me as far, this guy asked me as to whether I was a better gamer than vegan games. And the answer is, of course I'm a better gamer than vegan games. I, I'm very confused right now. What am I doing? Who was I talking to? What? Can you give me my other Cokes in the freezer, please? No, just give me my Cokes. I need my Cokes. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Would you take my bike keys? Oh, yeah, good idea. No. What if I need to get more soda? The reason why I'm a better gamer is because I grew up in an older generation than he did. You know? Back in the day, back in my day, there was no ending to any of our games here. Okay? You just tried to survive for as long as possible. The truth of the matter is, Richard wouldn't last 25 minutes playing a game of Kaboom, for example. Now, what is Kaboom? Kaboom came out by Activision in 1980-fucking-1. Alright? 1981. The game is quite simple. You have to fight the Mad Bomber. The Mad Bomber smiles whenever you lose a life. And it, it's just ruthless. The Mad Bomber has no emotion. He only smiles when you lose a life. Your job... He throws a shitload of bombs at you. You just gotta catch him with a goddamn paddle. Just a just a line across the bottom of the screen. And that's it. Starts out slow. And then he starts tossing them like a motherfucker. Now, the longest I was able to fight the Mad Bomber, the Mad Bomber still pisses me off there just thinking about how much time I invested in it. The longest I lasted with the Mad Bomber was 30 minutes, okay? And that was only a couple of times. Most of the time, I could only get 15 minutes out. I was just, those 30 minutes that I lasted, you know, I, I was in the groove that day. I can, I, I was able to deal with the Mad Bomber. But eventually, the Mad Bomber beat me, as it beats everyone, because you can't beat the Mad Bomber. There's no tip books. There, there's nothing. It's a matter of dexterity. And that's the whole thing about Richard. Richard has not really played any games that requires true dexterity. Kaboom was one of the most hardest games out there. And Richard wouldn't last 20 minutes with the Mad Bomber. That's a topic for a video. Boys, we've got to do something to help these video game addicts. Last week, I have seen more and more young men who are supposedly on self-improvement. The more, I'm going to go through this concept of inner Jeffrey Alter Chad. Uh, some of them like go to the gym and everything, and it's always the same. It's always the same excuse. And it saddens me because I see more and more young men in the middle where you hear from me, okay, video games are bad. It's an addiction. It's bad for you. And then you also hear from the, oh, you know, but it's okay to play one hour. And if you're in, somewhat in the middle and you're trying to think, okay, well, who do you follow? Who do you listen to? Because there's so many new creators who are criticizing me. And there's a lot of comments who criticize me and say, I'm too hard on video games. I couldn't control it. I'm a drug addict. You know, all, all the shit they want to throw at me. He doesn't know about video games because you can play them safely. You do realize that the people who are telling you that video games are okay to play, that you know they're, they're not bad for you, that they can be good for you, they've never quit. A lot of people will tell you that you shouldn't live with regret. A lot of people will tell you that you shouldn't dwell on the past and that there's things that you can't change. I have a lot of videos where I kind of talk about some of my regrets and things that I did when I was younger, wasting time playing video games or just, you know, wasting time doing dumb stuff like drinking and drugs and just wasting my youth and my good years. And I get a lot of comments where people kind of say like, no, if it's time enjoyed, it's not time wasted. But the truth is, I don't feel that way. Now, as I'm older and I realize how much of that time was actually wasted and it wasn't enjoyed, after spending a whole night playing video games, I would just feel sad and empty. And all I had to show for it was maybe my 
World of Warcraft character went up a level or I got another level on my prestige in Call of Duty. And that is just kind of a shitty feeling and I regret a lot of that stuff. I regret a lot of that time wasted. I think regret is a great motivator. I think if you have a lot of stuff that you didn't get done and you feel shitty about, you should dwell on that a little bit. You should. Just thinking back on my past of how many hours I've played playing World of Warcraft Dota 2, it's got to be over like a year or two. Just me sitting at my PC when I could have been, you know, going out, uh, making meaningful relationships or like friendships. A League of Legends game could be like 30 minutes to 50 minutes. If I play like three games, that's over two hours. Just me sitting there when I could be studying, uh, reading a book, uh, talking to my friends, seeing what's going on with them, or just like doing some stuff for my career or just uh, make myself look better or clean the house. There's so many more meaningful tasks besides sitting in front of a screen all day and just playing video games. My view on video games gets so many comments and so many guys asking me why I'm so aggressive and hostile towards it. And that's where I take the like the mock, the mick out of people who say this, oh, I, I only play for one hour at the end of you know a hard day of work. And so many people have tried to figure out the reason why I'm so against video games and a bunch of them have said, oh, but he's he's just projecting because, you know, Hamza wasted a lot of his life on video games. Well, yeah, that's exactly why I tell it to you. Those Jeffries who are telling you, oh, video games are, can be productive, they, they can be good for you, just don't overdo it. Like, they've never quit. I literally hear them say, or I read them in their comments, say like, oh, but I've played video games for all my life and I'll never stop playing them just because Hamza tells me not to, okay. So you don't even know what you're talking about then. You've never actually experienced life without quitting. Why would you take advice from someone like that? I used to have a major video game addiction. I grew up playing video games my entire life. Between the ages of 18 and 28, those 10 years, I spent pretty much all my free time playing video games. I used to play video games all day long. And when I mean all day long, I literally mean all day long. I had a job, but when I got home from work, the first thing I would do was turn on my console or my PC and I would play until it was so late and I would start counting the hours and doing the math on if I went to sleep right now, how many hours would I get of sleep before I had to wake up and go to work? And then I would do that over and over every single day. That time is something that I will never get back. All those achievements, all those video game accomplishments that I made, all those max level characters that I had on World of Warcraft, all the multiple times that I prestiged on Call of Duty, all those storylines that I completed and all those side quests that I did don't mean jack right now. I don't want to look back and feel the same regret that I feel now at almost 40 because I know that when 50 comes around and I look back, I want to be able to say I did everything I could do to get to where I wanted to be now. From 20 to 28, I was just wasting time. I was just wasting my life. I was hurting my health. I was drinking and smoking and gaming and going out and wasting money. And even though I may have had some really, really fun times, half of the stuff I don't remember because I was under the influence of something. And all that time I spent gaming, I have nothing to show for it. I have some character in a database somewhere that I don't play anymore. I spent so much time leveling up that character and not leveling up myself that now I look back and I'm just like, damn it. Everyone's success story in the modern day, it's always the same thing. Like you, you've seen the same dynamic so many times. Young man is a loser, stops playing video games, stops being a loser, reaches the success that he wanted all along. You've seen the same story being told on like every single body transformation video on YouTube, which is that I used to play video games all day and girls didn't hold eye contact with me, but then I stopped playing video games and started lifting weights and now girls hold eye contact with me. And you can make all these bullshit, oh, but Hamza X plays video games, Elon Musk plays video games, Michael Jackson plays, I don't give a fuck what they do. You are not them. If you've reached this immense level of success, then okay, congratulations. But you haven't. You are in the growth stage of your life. You have to understand that every hour that you have right now is extremely valuable. The decisions you make right now are so much more significant than that singular decision that you make. 
because you make that one decision to play video games today instead of reading a book please believe me i want you to visualize this right now i want you to visualize like your life split like your mind split in half in what you can see if you close your eyes on the right side you're making the decision to play video games for an hour and on the left to read a book please believe me even though you somewhat think that this decision is insignificant please believe me it's, it's so much more significant than you think because it's not just one hour the truth is that one hour of reading isn't going to do anything one hour of exercise isn't going to do anything and so you may as well just fucking play the video games for this one hour but it goes deeper than that i would do anything for you i would kill an entire school filled with children if it meant saving you tempest 2000 is also a game of skill and dexterity no cheat books know anything that's going to help you out there. There's no maps or anything like that. It's a matter of dexterity. Richard wouldn't last and he could never beat the game Tempest 2000. Now, can I play these games at this time? I could probably still hang maybe 20 minutes with Kaboom, you know? Uh, I did try Tempest 2000. I think I only got the level 40. It's just at my age, 45, you know, and stuff like that. I can't I don't have that dexterity anymore, I've lost it. You know, when I was a kid I was a lot more quicker, you know, and stuff like that. Can you beat the Mad Bomber, Vegan Games? Can you beat the Mad Bomber? Huh? Can you survive Tempest 2000? Any gamer that was from my age is gonna always blow away someone like Vegan Games. He's just not from our age there. And you wanna know how, and if he has a problem with it there, that's fine. You go and find a game of Kaboom there, Richard. And you do it live if you want, or don't do it live. And if you can last 20 minutes with the with the Mad Bomber on Kaboom, okay, I'll give you some credit. If you can beat Tempest 2000, or 3000, I, I wouldn't do 3000. 3000 will, will turn your mind into mush because there's so much stuff moving across the screen. But if you can beat Tempest 2000, that's fine. But I don't think you can do it. You know why? Because you're so used to playing these multi-universe games there that when it comes to a game where you can't rely on any of that, when you can only rely on your skills and dexterity, you know, just saying. Quote me on that. <laughs>